So at this point, having toured the schematic, the layout, and the bill of materials functionality, let's close out of this initial design and jump ahead to a finished design. such as this one. From this finished design, we can take a look at the three-dimensional view to preview the uh, manufacturing for this particular design. We can review and verify the schematics. And we can review the bill of materials including a check to make sure that we have the up-to-date pricing. And a review of the bottom of the bill of materials shows that I'm looking at a grand total of, to make 50 units, I'm looking at $10.34 each for the board fabrication and about um, $942.79 total for the purchase of all of the components and the board fabrication itself. If I wanted to go ahead and place that order, I would click Order Parts to place the DigiKey Parts order for the parts that are available. In order to, or to start the manufacturing process for the boards themselves, I would click the Order button here. And the first thing PCB123 will, be will do will be to run a complete batch verification of all of the manufacturing DRCs and fabrication rules. In this particular design, there is one error and one warning. I have already reviewed those and signed them off as being uh, not a factor for me, so I will continue to proceed. The next step is to log into sunstone.com with my account information. And that order opens up the order process dialog box for placing my orders. Here I have a chance to modify the quantity and to specify or change my specifications for lead free. Next, I can add on features such as electrical testing and assembly service or also for a premium fee I can expedite my order for a shorter turn time. In this particular case, I'm going to choose the electrical testing for a $350 ad and the uh, assembly service connection to screaming circuits. From there, it's time to transfer the PCB123 order file to Sunstone. At this point, it is now in the queue, ready for engineering, and all it's left to do is confirm the order process with the shipping information and the credit card and payment information. So that concludes our initial getting started tour of PCB123 and its functionality. Please check some of the other videos that get into specific functions and features and go into more detail.